love and happiness, oh, and some trivia too. I'm your host, Matt Riches, about to flip that money. Quiz Miss Claus is coming to your phone. Ooh, ooh. Quiz Miss Claus, yeah. Look at the drawstring on my pants, I'm gonna tuck it. <laughs> okay, check it out. Here we go, here we go, so what's the scenario? Welcome to HQ, babies. Tonight is all about some of the best Christmas movies ever made. You got a favorite? My favorite is Elf. I feel like we can make an Elf 2, and I can be Will Ferrell. What you guys think? I'm kidding, I would never be Will. I'd probably be like a cool, you know, Elf from the south side of the North Pole, perhaps. It's season two on HQ, as you already know, okay? Your first chance to win a prize is going to be at question six. Then there's more prizes at questions 11 and 18. Yeah, the season ends January 2nd, so keep on earning those points and keep on getting them levels. Have you guys heard about HQX? How'd you like it so far, huh? We got another game tomorrow at 9, 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, so make sure you come on and check it out. It's super fun, and you can show off your creativity. It's a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. Yeah. All right, now for the rest of the week. On Friday, it's another Tunes game on all the best rock classics. What are your all-time favorite rock songs? Hmm? Sweet Cherry Pie! Oh, one of my... <laughs> oh, I want pie now so bad. On Saturday, it's Smarter Day on HQ. All the questions are just gonna be a little bit tougher. Making your brain say, whoa! What was that? Spicy! Mm-hmm. And lastly, on Sunday, we got another secret theme. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because that defeats the, uh, it's a secret. Obviously, duh, hello. All right, so just make sure you join us for that one Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. It's gonna be litty. Yes, ah, what's a better way to celebrate Christmas than with gifts? Yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna try the gift drops, all right? Here we go. When you see a chest appear on your screen, just tap, 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 tap it until it opens. You guys ready? Maddie Claus is ready. I hope. Here we go. It's good! Tap! Tap it! Tap it! Woo! It worked! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, internet! You're trying to slow me down when I'm trying to gift drop the people. Never again! Yeah! Did you get a gift? I know you all did. Merry Christmas to you, and you, and you, and you, and even you there, sitting in that chair. Uh, I said do it again! Can we do it again? Hell yeah! <laughs> do it again! Hey! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Prospero y año y felicidad! I don't know if I said that right. Prospero, año y felicidad. There we go. Oh, I'm so happy that works. That would have been embarrassing. Oh, happens sometimes when you try to be nice, it bites you in the face. All right, we might do another one later. Who knows? Mm, I feel in the spirit of Christmas. Uh, what was your favorite gift from today, y'all? Mine is these cool. Niggas, look at these. Get the stomping in my Air Force One. Love you, Mandy. Mwah. Silly head. Let's play a game. <laughs> oh, that worked. I knew it would. I knew deep down in my heart of hearts that was gonna be a thing. High five, guys. Air high five. We did it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we did it. Rudy toot toot pa pom pom 
I'm just opening up a candy can, y'all. Curly hair dolls that tootle and coo. Okay, nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. Who is John McClane's primary opponent in Die Hard? Commercialism, The Grinch, or Hans Gruber? Well, we included it in our debatable Christmas movies, but we've been convinced Die Hard's a Christmas movie, okay? All right, y'all. Bruce Willis's John McClane faces off against Alan Rickman's classic movie villain, Hans Gruber, and 63,042 of y'all knew that. Hello. Mm. I went and had seafood earlier, and my, my jacket is extra snug. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the tailor tomorrow. Question number two. The original Miracle on 34th Street takes place in what store? Macy's, 7-Eleven, or Supreme Pop-Up Store? What's it gonna be? All right, shooting on location can be difficult, especially when you're filming during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. But the crew of Miracle on 34th Street weren't deterred since much of the film took place in Macy's. 67,645. Got it right. Yee yee! Pick up some extra lives if you need one, all right? Even though you just got some. You're welcome! Ha <laughs> ha! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Ooh! Ah, uh, tap on the pop up. That's how you get them. If you, if you was wondering. Okay, here we go. Question number three. Which sitcom patriarch's actor starred in The Santa Claus? Tim Taylor, Danny Tanner, or Carl Winslow? Who's that gonna be? All right, if you see a man in a red suit on your roof, do not interfere, okay? Lest you be subject to The Santa Claus. Tim Allen, who played Tim, the two-man Taylor in Home Improvement. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he starred as the man who unwittingly had to replace Santa. Yeah, Tim Taylor! Right? High five. Ding! Alright, also we might be doing another one of them gift drops if you hang out and stick around. Question number four. What film included this musical number? Take a look. Sisters. Sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Oh, sisters. Was it White Christmas, Miracle on 34th Street, or Jack Frost? What was it? Hmm? Do you know? Ah, there were never such devoted sisters as Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Allen in the holiday musical White Christmas. I'm dreaming of a black Christmas like all the ones I never knew. <laughs> okay, well this Christmas was black. All the streets are black because it didn't snow. Yeah! Progress. Here we go! <laughs> Do you want to add a point multiplier? Well, you can get one right now if you see it on your screen. Multiply your points by 5, 10, or 15 times, okay? And then you let me know what level you on so I can keep, you know, helping you get the points, y'all. That's what I'm here for. They got the money just sitting around trying to give it away. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Question number five for the children. The child heroine of 1986's Babes in Toyland comes from where? Seattle, Cincinnati, or Chicago? Babes in Toyland. Wait, she comes from Cincinnati? Drew Barrymore's 11-year-old character, Lisa Piper, comes from Cincinnati and even sings a song about it with her co-star Keanu Reeves. Yeah, it's a pretty star-studded cast for a TV movie. Cincinnati! 36,927 of you got it right. Yeah! I don't know what that was. Yeah! <laughs> that was my new move. 
All right, y'all ready? Here we go. Question six. First opportunity to get a prize. After the two gift drops we already did. Here's another one. If you get it right. You know what I'm saying? It's Christmas. Yeah. Question six. What phrase entices Flick to stick his tongue on a frozen pole in a Christmas story? Quadruple dog dare, triple dog dare, or double dog dare? You always gotta be mindful of the dog dares, y'all. It might get your tongue stuck to a pole. In a shocking breach of dare etiquette, Schwartz skipped right over triple to triple, triple. Right? This is triple. Yeah, that's the highest you can go. 39,000. He skipped over double dog, right to triple. 39,723 of you got it right. Yeah. Okay, I'm flipping 89 coins to 39,723 players. We got five questions until the next prize. So get ready! Yee -hee. Oh. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Who's taking it? Oh yeah, 5,722 players chose to take 89 coins. We still have 53,335 in the game, rocking the same. Let's go to work with question number seven. In Scrooge, the ghost of Christmas past appears as what? Ex-girlfriend, clumsy fairy, or taxi driver? Scrooge, y'all. Bill Murray returned to the screen in Scrooge after taking a four year break in the wake of Ghostbusters' massive success. Who was his next film? More, uh, who was in his next film? Hmm? More ghosts! <laughs> Including the Ghost of Christmas Past, which appeared as a taxi driver. 32,583 of you got it right, taxi driver. That was a good movie. I might go watch Scrooge when I get back home after this. Because I like live tweet about it. That'll be fun. We gotta do that one day, y'all. Watch a movie all together and just talk about it. Okay, here we go. Question number eight. In A Christmas Prince, heroine Amber Moore travels to what fictional country? Andorra, Aldovia, or Moldova? Moldova. Netflix's surprise hit A Christmas Prince made it rival for Hallmark, Hallmark in terms of uh, cheesy Christmas flicks. Yeah, for the whole family. It spawned two sequels in the fictional land of Aldovia. Moldova and Andorra are two very real places. Okay! 25,334 of you got it right. Yee yee! Let's move on to question number nine. I hope you're feeling fine. Here we go. What is the profession of Hugh Grant's character in Love Actually? Actor, Prime Minister, or Writer? Didn't we just have a quiz about this movie? Yeah, we did. And I was holding up signs. <laughs> I remember now. Okay, if you want to imagine an alternative universe where Hugh Grant is the Prime Minister instead of Boris Johnson, congrats, you can, just by watching Love Actually. Alternate universe. Hugh Grant, Prime Minister. <laughs> 26,835 of you got it right. We're moving on to question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. Here we go. According to It's a Wonderful Life, what event means an angel gets its wings? Bell ringing, feather falling, or snow falling? It's a Wonderful Life. Go ahead and ring your bells, because every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. At least that's according to uh, Clarence Oddbody, the guardian angel who saves George Bailey. Ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. <laughs> 32,840 of you. Nailed it, you're ringing bells to the next prize question. Here we go, trying to make them coins ring for you. Question 11, all dogs go to heaven. What is the name of the fictional gangster film within a film in Home Alone? Angels with Filthy Souls, Humbug Boys, or Dirty Rotten Scoundrels? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal! Drrr. Kevin McAllister got that kind of language from the fake gangster flick, Angels with Filthy Souls, which lampooned the actual gangster movie, Angels with Dirty Faces. Yeah, 23,139 of you knew that. 
It wasn't the Humbug Boys, y'all. I'm offering 225 coins to 23,139 players right now. Seven questions until the prize. Let's go to work. What you gonna do? You gonna take the coins and tap out? Get back to some ham? Or you gonna stay and play? My fam. That right. 6,794 of you chose to take 225 coins just now. It's lit, okay? Then we still have 22,320 of you in the game right now. Seven questions until the prize. This is live. It's crazy. I feel good. Here we go. Q12. Arnold Schwarzenegger's character competes against what other actor in Jingle All the Way? Shaquille O'Neal, Carl Weathers, or Simbad? Hmm? Who's it gonna be? I have to get the turtle man for my son! <laughs> Ever needed to get an in-demand present for your kid only to find out it's been sold for weeks? Hmm? That's pretty much what happened in the movie. Yeah, a movie starring uh, Arnold, opposite Sinbad. He's trying to get a turtle man for his son. That's your dance of Prince of Vixen comic, Cupidana Blitzen! <laughs> 20,114 of you nailed it. You about to get a turtle man for your son. Yeah. Question 13. In a Charlie Brown Christmas, what does Lucy say she really, really, would, really, really wants? Psychiatry license, real estate, or new football? We used to watch this every year when I was little. Lucy understands exactly how Charlie Brown feels about Christmas. She never gets what she really wants. Real estate. Same, Lucy. Preferably something close to the HQ office. I feel like that would be nice. You know, it would shorten my commute a little bit. But it's cool. It's cool. 11,812. Got it right. <laughs> yeah! Here we go. Question 14. All right. In National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, what is one of Aunt Bethany's gifts? Ugly lamp, her wig, or her cat? What's it gonna be? Old Aunt Bethany loves to take things from around the house and wrap them up as presents, and that includes her own cat. Nobody's happy about it, including the cat. 15,158 of you I'm moving on to Q15. Yeah, that, that, I mean. Oh, I love Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Okay, here we go, Q15. The directors of Frosty the Snowman claim they wanted the movie to look like a what? Disney film, Christmas card, or fever dream? Okay, dokie. All right, when the children put the hat on Frosty's head and it made him come to life. It's like something out of a Christmas card. And that's exactly how Jules Bass and Arthur uh, Rankin Jr. That's how they wanted it, okay? And why they hired an illustrator who had uh, drawn on Christmas cards. They were like, this is how we're gonna make it look how we want it to look. It's a beautiful thing. 13,119 of you got it right. Christmas card or a Christmas cord if you're from the West Coast. You didn't get my Christmas cord? I'm sorry. My Christmas cord. I signed it myself as a Christmas cord. Okay, here we go. Q16, the narrator of 2000's How the Grinch Stole Christmas played what film villain? Agent Smith, Darth Vader, or Hannibal Lecter? All right, he might be even more villainous than the Grinch. Depends whether you find lack of Christmas spirit or cannibalism more evil. Anthony Hopkins, the actor behind Hannibal Lecter, narrates Jim Carrey's Grinch. Hello, Whovilles. Whoville. Cindy Lou, that's creepy. Ugh. I didn't even know this one, but that's just scared the crap out of me. I don't know if I'll be able to watch it the same anymore. Ah! He was, a, when he did a little tongue thing, mmm, fava beans, ugh, stop it, get out of here, get away Anthony Hopkins, scary old man, 
Uh, shout out to my friend Alex Ward, who has always had a crush on Anthony Hopkins. I, hey. Okay. <laughs> Question 17 in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. What character sings silver and gold? Yukon Cornelius, Sam the Snowman, or Rudolph? Now I see my shirt and tie makes sense. Hello. I planned it. Okay. Prospector Yukon Cornelius might have been obsessed with finding silver and gold, but it was Sam the Snowman, voiced by Burl Ives, who sings a song about it. 7,055. Got it right. Moving right along to the final prize before the jackpot. Question 18. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? Mmm! Which Christmas movie was nominated for an Oscar? Love Actually, Less Than Zero, or The Preacher's Wife? One of these got an Oscar nom. Which one was it? All right, when your Christmas movie stars Whitney Houston, it's actually insulting if the soundtrack isn't nominated for an Oscar. The Preacher's Wife soundtrack didn't win, but it became the best-selling gospel album of all time. The Preacher's Wife, 9,668 of you knew that word. So now I'm gonna flip 363 coins to 9,668 players with three questions remaining until the jackpot. Are you gonna take them coins or are you gonna stay and play? Because you've already been doing really great so far. That's up to you, baby. All right now. All right. 1,710 of you chose to take 363 coins. We still have 795. Whoops. 7,000. This, look, you try this, okay? You try reading all these numbers this fast on a holiday, especially. Bunch of y'all still in the game. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Question 19. The actor who played Scrooge in The Muppet Christmas Carol appears in what franchise? Batman, Avengers, or James Bond? Who's that gonna be? It's a lot of pressure to play alongside pros like the Muppets, okay? But, uh, I almost said plushies. Ah, <laughs> oh, but it's not easy to intimidate Michael Caine, okay? He's played with the greats, including all the stars in Christopher Nolan's Batman films. Yeah, where Caine played Alfred. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Um, my name is Michael Caine. Michael Caine. I love Michael Caine. 6,684 are moving on to question 20. Let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck! I don't know where that came from. Here we go. Question 20. The Polar Express had what then unknown star as a child CGI model? Tinashe, Haley Steinfeld, or Zendaya? Was it Tinashe, Haley Steinfeld, or Zendaya? Choo choo, everybody! Yeah! Everyone hopped on the Polar Express from Tom Hanks to Steven Tyler to a, a pre fame Tinashe who provided motion capture modeling for the CG. Oh my god! That's a savage question! Well, savage question song! Sorry you got it wrong! Savage Quest song! Y'all know Tinashe was one. Yeah, two syllables. That was for Eugene. What up, dog? Merry, merry to you and the fam. Mmm, wow. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty savage. 471 of you still in the game. We got one question left. All you gotta do is get this one right and you're gonna have some money in your pocket. Come on now, let's go to work. Ooh wee! Here we go. Woo! The director of Elf made an on-screen cameo in the film as what? News eyewitness, secretary, or pediatrician? It's the director of Elf. Okie dokie. When you've got a great comic actor like John Favreau, you have to let him be in the movie, right? 
Favaro played Dr. Ben Leonardo, the family's pediatrician who checks out Buddy. 332 of you, just one HQ trivia! What's that? Three dollars to everybody. All right, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. You're probably sitting on your couch digesting some some turkey or some ham or some something. I don't know what y'all had for dinner, but I'm sure it was delicious. Okay, some Chinese food, perhaps. Congratulations to Adil, Debbie Prost, Larch Six, Adam, 1797, Murphman, ay ya ay <laughs> what was that name again? Aja ya ja ja ja. Aja ya ja ja. Aja aja. Aja ya ja ja. As how did? It, okay. How you remember that? All right. <laughs> Congratulations to all the winners. Y'all did it, okay? I'm so proud of you. Thanks for spending some of your Christmas with me. I really, that means the world to me. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your night. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me here. I love you so much. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas. And a happy new year.